Are you excited for spring? I sure am. Today we're going to talk about some spring style mistakes that us women sometimes make without even knowing it. Hi ladies, it's Kathy and welcome back to Style with Kathy Over 50. Today we're diving into a topic that is both fun and crucial as we transition into the warmer spring months. We're talking about spring style mistakes that women over 50 sometimes make without even knowing it. Let's make sure that we're all stepping out in style, feeling confident, and looking our absolute best. So let's get into it. Spring is a time of renewal and refreshment, not just for nature, but for our wardrobes too. However, as we aim to rejuvenate our looks, there are a few common pitfalls that we may encounter. Today, we're going to navigate through these together, ensuring that this spring, you look as fabulous as you feel. Mistake number one, sticking to dark colors. I'm guilty, I love navy and I love black. Those are just my two go-to colors because they're slimming and I can pull them off with my complexion. So many of us love our navies, blacks and grays, especially coming out of winter. But spring is the perfect time to embrace vibrant colors. If you're hesitant to dive into a sea of brights, start small. Incorporate pastel accessories or a brightly colored scarf into your outfit. This will not only brighten your look, but lift your spirits. Mistake number two, overlooking the importance of layering. Spring weather is always unpredictable. One moment it's sunny and the next you're caught in a chilly breeze. The key to navigating this is wearing layers. A common mistake is layering too much, making your outfit bulky, or not at all, leaving you cold. Opt for lightweight, breathable fabrics like linen or cotton. A stylish cardigan or a chic trench coat can be perfect for adding or removing layers as needed. Mistake number three is holding on to outdated trends. Fashion is cyclical, but that doesn't mean every trend deserves a comeback into your closet. Holding on to outdated items can make your wardrobe feel stale. This spring, take a moment to assess your wardrobe. Donate or repurpose pieces that no longer serve you or your style. Embrace current trends that resonate with you whether it's a modern take on florals or the latest in shoe fashion. Remember, it's about finding what makes you feel comfortable and beautiful. Mistake number four is ignoring comfort for style. We've all been there, those shoes that look amazing, but they're a total nightmare to walk in. As we mature, comfort becomes just as important as style. This spring, look for pieces that offer both. Brands now offer stylish options without compromising on comfort, from shoes with better support to dresses and stretch fabrics. Your body will thank you and you won't have to sacrifice your style. Some of my favorite shoe brands for the summer are Mephisto. I really like their Helen Sandal. It has like an orthotic bed built into it. And if you have flat feet like I do, my feet are comfortable and I can like tour around all day just wearing those sandals. So they're super comfortable. I also like Vionic. They are a very good brand of shoes and they also have orthotic built into the shoe. You can also buy Vionic insoles and just uh, put them into whatever existing shoes that you already have. I have done that. I bought them on Amazon. I think they were around 50 or $60, but I just slip them into whatever pair of shoes that I want to wear that day. And they instantly give me that orthotic relief that I need because I have very wide flat feet. So I definitely need shoes that have a nice solid cushiony footbed. I also really do like Vivea shoes. I've worked with them a couple of times, but I genuinely do like their shoes and I always have a discount with Vivea. So you just need to use the code Kathy12 and that'll get you 12% off any Vivea shoes or any other Vivea products um, at any time site-wide. Mistake number five, forgetting to accessorize. Accessories are the finishing touches that can make an outfit shine. A common mistake is either over accessorizing or not accessorizing at all. And I sometimes fall into that because I just don't think about, you know, adding other accessories, like if I'm just staying at home. So that's something that I really want to build on because I don't have a lot of accessories in my wardrobe. So this spring, choose accessories that complement your outfit without overwhelming it. A statement necklace or a pair of elegant earrings can elevate your look. And don't forget about your sunglasses. A stylish pair not only protects your eyes, but also adds a touch of glamour. Mistake number six, 
not updating your makeup. Spring is the perfect time to change your makeup look. Try tinted moisturizers or sunscreens instead of heavy foundation. Opt for vibrant lip colors that bring life to your face. As we age, I believe less is more. So having a signature quick go-to makeup look while having you looking fresh in a matter of minutes. So in the spring, I like to wear just a tinted sunscreen or, you know, IT CC cream and then just some mascara, a little bit of bronzer, maybe a hint of blush, some lip gloss, my eyebrows, and I am good to go. What's your signature makeup look for spring? Do you have favorite products that you like to use? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Mistake number six is forgetting to shave. Spring is always exciting for me because I love to wear dresses, skorts, and shorts during the spring and summer and into early fall. I'm done with wearing heavy, warm clothes because I've been doing that for the past six months. So it's important for me to remember to shave my legs and underarms because I may have forgot to do it over the winter. It's also really important to pull out your magnifying mirror and look for any stray hair or whisker that you may have on your face and don't forget about your neck. Once a week is a good idea to either shave your face with those little um, hand razors or you can use a derma flash. I have one of those and I use it periodically because it's great. It takes off the dead skin layer that is on the top of your face and that makes the new healthy glowing skin cells visible and that's how you get like nice glowing skin without even wearing any makeup. It's also great to remove any peach fuzz because if you have lots of peach fuzz on your face, that can hinder the efficacy of your skincare because it cannot like penetrate through the peach fuzz. Also, if you're wearing makeup, I've seen lots of women and sometimes I've been guilty of it. I've just like forgot to shave my peach fuzz and the makeup actually sits on the face. So it's not really a great look. So at least once a week, it's a good reminder to get a magnifying mirror and take a really good look, have, you know, a razor, a pair of tweezers, and you might have to yank out one or two stray hair. And no, shaving your face will not make you grow a beard. That's just like an old saying and it's absolutely not true. Mistake number seven is not exfoliating your body and your face. And this is really crucial. For my face, I like to exfoliate two to three times a week. I actually use like a chemical exfoliant on my face once a week and that's where I really want to go deep and get rid of any, you know, dead debris that's just on the top of my skin. And I can also exfoliate in the shower with like a face cloth. You can exfoliate with a razor, like if you're shaving your face. It's also important to exfoliate your body because our skin is our biggest organ and lots of times we forget to take good care of it. And living in a cold climate with having the furnace on all winter, I have found that my skin has really gotten dry this winter. So I'm constantly slathering on moisturizer, but it's important maybe, I don't know, once every two weeks or so to exfoliate my body skin and there are a number of exfoliators that I actually like. I like um, the one by Dove. It's a drugstore body exfoliator. I also like Clinique has one. I like uh, Skin Fix. They have a really nice one. And then they have, I think it's a, some sort of a lotion that goes on after. I don't know if it has glycolic acid in it or not, but the two work together and my goodness, it really leaves my skin, you know, feeling great. You can also just use a washcloth or even a loofah in the, um, the shower to just remove any, you know, dead skin cells. And it's just going to make your skin feel soft. And again, your body lotion penetrate. And I'm a firm believer. I always put lotion on my skin after I take my bath or my shower in the evening because it's really important, especially as we age, to remember to hydrate our skin. So sometimes we neglect our body. We only think about when we think skincare, you know, from the neck up, but it's important to remember the rest of our body as well. Mistake number eight is not getting a pedicure. Sandals come out of the closet in the spring, so remember to look down at your tootsies and get a pedicure. Buff away the dry, dead skin, clip your nails, and put a fun, hot pink or red color on your toenails to give yourself a little spring pick-me-up. I love a pedicure. I love to look down at my feet and it just makes me happy to see color on my toes. Don't ask me why, but that just is a small pleasure in my life. Maybe it's because I wore rubber boots or work boots all the time when I was working and I never got to expose my toes and now I'm just super happy. You don't have to paint your nails if you don't want to, 
But, you know, even if you have difficulty cutting your own nails, you can go to a salon and ask them to cut your nails. They can also, like, give you a nice foot massage and uh, take away any dry skin. If you can't get outside of the house, I know we used to have somebody come around, that was their specialty, to help my mom to clip her toenails and, you know, attend to her foot care. So there are services, you just have to look it up in your area if you're unable to clip your own toes. But remember to look down, if you're going to expose your tootsies, you want to make sure that they're in tip-top shape. Mistake number nine is not wearing sunglasses. I love sunglasses. To me, they are an extension of your personality. It's a way for you to make a statement without even, you know, opening your mouth and having to say any words. And it's so important to wear sunglasses now, not only to protect our eyesight, but we also want to protect the skin underneath our eyes. We're spending all this money on skincare and, you know, taking care of our skin. We don't want to cause sun damage and wrinkles. I like polarized sunglasses. I have sensitive eyes to light. So my polarized Ray-Bans help me a lot. And I always get my prescription in my sunglasses. And I have progressive lenses, which means the bottom half of the lens is for close up for reading and then my distance prescription is in the top part. And I can, you know, read my iPhone perfectly with them. I know a lot of people say that they can't. I don't have that issue. I could never ever go back to regular sunglasses now because there's that much difference. So if you are sensitive to light, you might want to look into polarized sunglasses. You don't have to buy expensive ones, but just give them a try and compare like regular sunglasses and polarized and I think you'll see what I mean. I'd also like to suggest that if you have blue eyes like me, what I have found, I have tried gray lenses, black, burgundy, and brown, and I find that the brown lenses are the best for my eyes as far as, you know, sensitivity to light. So that's also just something to keep in mind. So it's nice. I can be outside in the yard and I have my sunglasses on. If I have to read my phone or if I want to read a book, I don't have to have my reading glasses on. I can, you know, get away with just wearing my sunglasses. And there are so many different fun sunglasses out there today. I just love walking into a room with a really nice pair of, you know, statement sunglasses and I just feel like a movie star and I just feel like it can sometimes give you a boost of confidence because I think if we're a bit shy, we feel that if people can't see our eyes, they can't sense like our fear or shyness. And just having, you know, those sunglasses on can really give you an added boost of self-confidence if you need that. If you're enjoying my video, it would really help my channel out if you would subscribe and give it a like. That just tells YouTube that you like my content and that they will uh, push my channel out so that people can find me. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Mistake number 10 is wearing dark shoes. A quick tip to help you look longer and leaner is always to wear flesh toned shoes if you're wearing shorts, a dress, or a skirt. So anytime that you have exposed skin close to where your shoes are, if you can get shoes to match your skin color, that's just going to make you look longer. It's going to elongate that leg. And if you are petite like me, I'm five foot four. It's going to help me look a little longer and help my leg to look uh, a lot longer than what it is. So I'll be taller looking. Wearing dark shoes in the summer can kill your outfit, especially if you're wearing dark shoes with like a nice light dress because if people look down, it can like make the bottom of your body look really heavy. Now that's not to say you can never wear black sandals or flip-flops or shoes or what have you, but if you just wanna like really up your game and take your outfit to the next level, I think it's really nice if you can wear um, flesh tone colored shoes in the summertime, lighter color shoes as well. You know, just anything avoid like dark uh, black or brown color in the spring and summer. Keep maybe those more for the fall and for the winter. As we wrap this up, remember ladies, fashion is about expressing yourself and feeling great in what you're wearing. Avoiding these common mistakes will ensure you look as vibrant and as youthful as the season is itself. So embrace the change, experiment with your style, but most importantly, have fun with it. And here's to us having a fabulous spring. Watch how to find flattering tops that actually hide belly fat here and I'll meet you over at that video. Bye.